Hello everyone. My name is Harish and uh, welcome to my tutorials about Muli SB. And uh, today I will be covering how to do BPM in Muli SB. Um, basically, BPM is a, a business process management. So, based on some conditions, we want to manage our business process and uh, what kind of decision we want to take uh, for our business. And uh, so we will be uh, using JBoss BPM and uh, uh, this will be in continuation of my previous tutorial which I made about D rules. So if you have not then I will uh, suggest you can check this out on my YouTube channel and I will be posting this link um, in the tutorial in the comments uh, so detail section below of this tutorial so you can check this and uh, it will help you to understand D rules because I will be using D rules in today's uh, tutorial as well so what exactly we are trying to do uh, in our demo to see how BPM works in mule is that uh, we have a web application which will generate orders so I am not going to create a re actual web application with just this. So I will be writing a quartz scheduler, so which will keep generating orders, random orders with some random uh, sizes. So based on the size of my order, uh, I will be using my, uh, rules. Uh, I will be running some rules uh, for the selection, and this selection is basically how. Uh, what's the weight of my order package so based on the package I will be sending it to two different uh, warehouses and so as you can see if it's greater than 50 it goes to warehouse A uh, which can handle only big packages above 50 and if it's less than equal to 50 it will go to warehouse B where uh, it handles small packages below 50 so what components I'm going to use is uh, JMSQ uh, basically active MQ I will be using so I am already running uh, active MQ on my local I am not going to cover how to set up uh, active MQ so it's very simple actually you can just uh, download it and then uh, I can share the command which which you run and then uh, I'm using default ports nothing I didn't change anything for active MQ then VMQ also will be used internally to manage my application and I will be explaining when we do it and then D rules engine for rule implementation and then BPM engine to execute business process and of course Anypoint Studio and uh, Mule to actually write our application so let's get to it and uh, before I go there I can I will like to show uh, this um, active MQ console so basically if I go to my home so I have running active MQ already here so it's already being up and running and uh, if I go to my queues I can check my queues out because I have already run my application once so it's already like uh, I have a queue for unsorted orders which is where uh, when the web application or the quartz scheduler will uh, create uh, orders it will go first here and it will get picked up from there uh, from our uh, uh, mule application and then rules will be applied and then it will go to specific uh, queue for warehouse A or warehouse B so you, you will see how it exactly works so let's uh, first uh, run it once and then see um, how it runs and what happens so I have won this application so we don't worry we will be creating everything from scratch and uh, just for uh, demo purpose just to show how it runs um, we can see what exactly all components are there so if I cannot cover everything in this tutorial then uh, I will be creating part 2 so maybe I'll just give a demo today and then in part two I will be covering uh, everything like uh, from scratch we will be creating this application so basically what I have is uh, so let's see first start from order generation so I have a quartz scheduler 
which is uh, running uh, and then generating uh, orders and to create orders i have written one script uh, okay let me put it down and let me get rid of this so i am running uh, this quad scheduler every five seconds and then it just uh, runs this script so i have written one script in groovy so basically it uh, takes this uh, uh, script and uh, based on different merchants and uh, randomly it will generate uh, my and uh, I'm, I'm putting weight random weight into my <clears throat> order and then I just put it into one JMS queue and uh, when I go here I, you can see this JMS queue is basically uh, just uh, this unordered list which I had so this unsorted orders so it will place it here right and I have one uh, JMS config file so I should show that also so basically what I am doing here is uh, I am setting up uh, JMS endpoints for my unsorted orders then JMS endpoint for warehouse A and then JMS endpoint for warehouse B and this is my active MQ connector configuration so JMS connector then localhost 61616 uh, six. so this is the port by which uh, it's a default port which uh, ActiveMQ starts your queues and then you can connect there and you can start uh, creating your queues so I didn't create any queues in ActiveMQ once I start running it it will automatically create these queues for me so you will take care of that then I have a VM endpoint for uh, Drool's endpoint and uh, this is being used by uh, Drool engine um, so which is applying uh, the rules for uh, based on the weights so let's see this also okay so what happens whenever uh, order is generated it goes into that VM queue and then if I go here, you see I have a composite source which can take uh, the orders from VM and from GMS and if I go into this GMS, this is taking my orders from GMS uh, unsorted configuration. Okay, let me go here. Okay. So here, so I am taking GMS inbound endpoint from unsorted orders and as soon as uh, unsorted uh, order is placed in this unsorted order i take that and then i start logging like bpm process get triggered and this is just for uh, demo purpose because we don't have actual um, uh, applications which consumes this so and then uh, this message payload and then i trigger my bpm process and this bpm process is basically triggering my warehouse routing process this is my bpm xml and let's see what this bpm xml actually is if i go into warehouse routing xml so this is my whole xml here so the moment an unsorted order is received so i use mule receive so in bpm uh, mule has provided mule receive and mule send uh, tags which you can use and then i send it to drool send to drools so at first i want to apply the rules engine on my order so when i say send to drool it will come to my rules implementation here and then it will start applying my rules bpm rules here okay um here this bpm rule it will apply and if i go to my uh, rules routing rules so here you can see i get um an order then based on the order i have to select warehouse a or select warehouse b so what I do first I check what's the order if the order is greater than 50 I set my destination as warehouse A and if it's uh, less than 50 I set my warehouse destination as warehouse B after that it will go back here 
it will come back here so uh, then it will send to this transition it will transition into warehouse now when it comes here I am checking in my object what's my destination warehouse A or warehouse B right then I will transition into those uh, like warehouse A or warehouse B based on this condition if it's warehouse A my routing is successful and I am done so warehouse A again this endpoint it's again my uh, mule uh, configuration of uh, the JMS config which I showed this one warehouse A and warehouse B so it will send it to this queue and it will send it to this queue so these two endpoints I know I'm going pretty fast so don't worry it's just an explanation and uh, we will uh, cover everything and we will write everything from scratch so it will make more sense at that time so now let's run it and see what happens so since I don't have any um, applications the, the two places where you can see actually what's happening is uh, console so it will be printing a lot of uh, messages into console and from there you can see and also I will keep this open so that we can see what exactly happening to my queues here so let me shift it a bit here okay let's run it okay so as soon as it boots up first it will make a link with uh, this BPM uh, sorry active MQ So here you see it made the connection to my active MQ and JBPM is getting loaded. Quad scheduler got started. Drools flow and everything. So as soon as it got it, it's pretty fast. I should have decreased the time. So let me stop it and I'll show you here. Um, okay okay from here so we got this uh, getting new order so order sent to unordered list then BPM process got triggered and once the BPM process got triggered uh, it received a message and it, uh, it sent it to destination so you can see it's all like unsorted orders and all this uh, uh, warehouse routing everything was executed rules engine was implemented and if I go and uh, go to active MQ and uh, refresh it you can see my orders two orders were placed and they were divided into this if I just run it again and this time let's keep an eye on active MQ what happens in active MQ So it's still running, getting boot up. So if I keep refreshing it, you will see that real time orders getting generated, seven orders, and then it keeps uh, routing them based on randomly warehouse A or warehouse B. So you see every five seconds there is an order placed, and uh, we can see where it goes. So you see here okay so this is what we are going to implement actually from scratch so since uh, I think this video is pretty long now so uh, in next tutorial I will be actually showing you how to implement it 
so before that i will suggest everybody to go to active mq website and download uh, active mq if you are on windows then download it for windows or uh, download it for mac or uh, mac is unix so you have to download this and for windows you should download this and the command which you should run um, once you are uh, have downloaded and you are uh, ready to run it um, so this is the command so you run this uh, activemq start and then you can give uh, serializable packages to everything so you want to load everything and then you run it with this so once it is done it will be up and running and then you can exit use uh, activemq and just to check it uh, once you run activemq you can go to localhost 8161 and if i just uh, if i go here and then if i want to manage my activemq broker uh, it will give you a pop up for uh, authentication so default id password is admin and admin then you can use that and uh, manage your queues and topics and subscribers and different things uh, you can get it from here so this is how so you see it's keep running and it keep generating messages and uh, orders and it keeps going to different warehouses so thank you for watching and uh, i hope uh, i'll see you in uh, second part of this tutorial where we will actually implement this uh, application from scratch thank you